What if I told you that a faceless YouTube channel is raking in a whopping $11,000 a month and another $4,000? Ever wondered how some YouTube channels make massive earnings without the glitz and glamour? There's a hidden world out there, far from expensive vlogs and extreme stunts. It's all about simplicity and irresistible content. They're just posting simple, irresistible quiz-style videos. Curious how they do it? Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll have the insider knowledge. We're diving into the secrets, step by step. Don't click away. You won't want to miss this opportunity. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. Start by copying and pasting the provided prompt into ChatGPT to automatically generate five quiz questions. Once done, navigate to canva.com and select the video design type. Afterward, explore Canva's design options by selecting a suitable background from the Elements tab. Feel free to experiment with various designs, and don't forget to add a text box with the title, Would You Rather? Modify the text colors and fonts to align with your preferred style. Explore the Elements tab and look into the frames available. Choose one that catches your eye and place it where you find it. Fits best on your canvas. Make it your own by adjusting it to match your vision. As an illustration, let's say you want to include a picture of a lion. After adding the lion image to your first frame, replicate it by using keyboard shortcuts or the right-click menu. Move the duplicated frame, then introduce a different image into the second frame of your design. Now, let's find a background shape for our text. Look for different shapes and choose a suitable one. Modify its dimensions and make it a light color. Create a copy of this shape for the next section, ensuring some space underneath for the upcoming element. Now, let's fill in the content. Go back to ChatGPT and grab the initial question. Adjust the font size and style to make it fit neatly within the shape. Repeat this process for the following section. To maintain organization, let's assign numbers to our questions. Look for the numeral one, place it in the upper left corner, and customize its appearance to match the design. Now, let's enhance the visual experience. Search for a suitable loading bar design, ensuring it fits the video frame perfectly. Adjust the timing to match the video length by right-clicking and selecting Show Timing. To add depth, Apply a subtle animation effect to bring the content to life. For an immersive touch, explore sound options. Look for a timer sound in the audio section, preferably something subtle like a soft ticking. Trim the sound to end just before the clip does, creating a sense of urgency as it nears completion. After, proceed to the Apps tab, Input Bulk Create, and choose Manual Data Entry. Return to ChatGPT, copy all quiz questions, and paste them into the designated columns. Categorize these under Question Number 1 and Number 2 columns for clarity. Once you've arranged everything, confirm the setup and proceed. Your engaging content is now ready to captivate the audience. All right. To save us some time and effort, let's get things set up automatically. First, give each text field a quick click, then right-click and pick Connect Data. Just make sure everything lines up. The main header should tie back to Question, while the following options should match up with Number 1 and Number 2. Got it all sorted? Great, great. Hit Continue. And then Generate Pages. Voila! You should now see your video slides come to life with text from our ChatGPT responses. Whoa, it seems our audio had a little hiccup. No sweat. Let's split up that clock timer sound and add it onto the end of each video. And hey, if you're feeling a sprinkle of creativity, I'm thinking of hunting for a snazzy new spiral background, maybe in a different hue for our next batch of questions. Position it all the way to the back, delete the old background, and throw in images that correlate with the next prompt. While you're in the groove, search for the number four to label your next question and update the rest of the numbers for each slide.
To enhance audience engagement, we'll incorporate a voiceover for our questions. Begin by Murph AI. I will put the link in the description. We will use Murph AI. Find the link in the description. Murph AI offers a variety of voice options. You can preview them by clicking there. Although there are multiple voices available, for this walkthrough, let's utilize this tone. Ensure you apply this voice style across all voiceovers. Next, return to ChatGPT and copy the data for the questions. Pasting this data into Murph AI will automatically divide it into several sections. Once done, download the audio. Now, navigate to Canva, upload the voiceover. I hope this helps. Let me know if you need further assistance.